Live from the campus of the Immaculate Heart Academy in Washington Township, New Jersey, this is Joe Vasile here on NJ.org Varsity. And we are just about set for the opening faceoff between the IHA Blue Eagles and the number four in the Star Ledger Top 20, Oak Knoll Royals, girls lacrosse. And here we go, Gabrielle Vinci will take it for the Blue Eagles. The ball is up and it is gonna be controlled by Oak Knoll. Oak Knoll comes into the game at four and three on the season. They're coached by Tara Nolan in her first year. She was an assistant for the Royals from 2000 to 2005. And she left and returned last year as an assistant under Elizabeth Broadbeck. And has now taken over as the head coach for the Royals. It's again coming into this game at four and three. IHA also coming into this game with a four and three record, though they are unranked. Oak Knoll continues to control the ball around the outside. Now stepping in, Nicole Biacco and a whistle. We're going to push. No score here. 24-08 remain in this first half. IHA comes into the game with a 4-3 and three record on the season. Biacco steps in. Brings a pass over to her sister, Ali Biacco. And we're getting another whistle over to the third. Stoppage so far here in this first half. Oknogle will continue to control the ball. IHA coached by Sue Montaneri in her first season. So a couple of first year head coaches matching wits in this one. And we have yet another push against IHA. Oknogle ball once again. That time Cassie Ford was the one who was fouled. We'll have the whistle in one second. Ford steps in, fires a shot, and it goes in. And just like that, Oknogle just about two minutes into this game, has a one to nothing lead. In net today for IHA is Kenna Scannell. She is the backup goaltender. Normal number one goaltender, Catherine Healy, out for this game with the flu. She has been outstanding all season long, but it's gonna be Scannell getting her first start. Also, Jen Mastretta, an outstanding defender for IHA, is out with the flu as well. And so Catherine DeCourt will get the start. She'll be playing midfield. Maggie Zied will slide from midfield back to defense for IHA. Twenty-three seventeen remaining in the first. One nothing in favor of the Royals. Ball is up and it is gonna be eventually picked up by IHA. And on the attack they go, but Ball quickly popped out and taken the other way by Allison Saya for Oak Knoll. She dishes off. And a shot and another goal. My goodness, just like that. Two to nothing, not even. 22 seconds after the last one. And Oak Knoll already out to a two to nothing lead, 22-55 remaining here in this first half. Go down the starting lineups. We haven't even got to that yet, already two nothing. It's Nicole Biacco, Kathleen O'Connor, Kiwi Camizio, and Allison Saya on the attack for Oak Knoll. They also play four midfielders, Ali Biacco, Morgan Ryan, Cassie Ford, and Kelsey Krause as well. This ball is taken by Mary Margaret Kennedy. She'll be playing at Bucknell next year. She's normally a defender, so she'll dish off, but playing a little midfield here today. Ball controlled by Morgan Ryan, being worked on by Vinci. Ryan will now back it back out and throw a pass for Kenny, and that's gonna sail high, go towards the out-of-bounds line, but it's gonna be saved by the Royals and picked up and taken by Allison Sayat. Walking in now as Ryan fires a shot, and a nice save that time by Scannell. And now, coming the other way is IHA. Josie Zinn will carry it across the line. On a fast break opportunity here for IHA. Zinn controls, plays it around back for Annie Quinn. Quinn dishes off to Christine Weber. Weber, one of the few natural lefties on this IHA team. 
Errant pass that time. No harm, no foul as Gabriella Vinci will pick it back up. Walking in, Haley Pasolina. She plays it back out now for Vinci. Vinci dishes back to Weber. Right, she looking to set up some sort of a shot here. Weber thinks about it, then pulls it back a couple of times, and she'll eventually dish it off to Samantha Marmo, the leading goal scorer on this IHA team. She comes into today's game with 20. A lot of off-ball movement for IHA. As Marmo will just control and look to set something up. 20-57 left here in this first half. She now gives to Zinn. Shot score! Josie Zinn was able to put it in past Jackie McCall. And IHA is on the board. 2-1 to one the score. 20-51 left here in the first. And a nice goal that time for Josie Zinn. Her 10th of the season to go along with four assists, giving her a total of 14 points. Zinn is really a, a workhorse who contributes in all facets of the game. She's a great two-way player for this IHA team and showing that she's got a pretty darn good shot on that one. Getting IHA back to within one goal deficit. Here, not even five minutes into this first period. There's the whistle, balls up. And it's going to be taken by IHA. Nice face-off win that time. Decourt takes it and a whistle. And we'll have a stoppage here momentarily. So we'll bring it back. Decourt controls for the Blue Eagles. She dishes down low to Bossolina. Pass fired up for Olivia Remling. Getting some action here early. Uh, excuse me. That was Samantha Marmo. Remley's 18. Marmo is 16. Got a little messed up on the numbers. Very deliberate pace here on the attack for IHA. Just waiting for something to set up, not trying to force anything. Controlling the ball is Josie Zinn. She scored the lone goal for the Blue Eagles so far here today. 1950, two to one in favor of the Oak Knoll Royals, the number four team coming into today's game in the Star Ledger Top 20. What this young Blue Eagles team has been able to ha hang with them so far. Samantha Marmo controls for IHA. Going to set up something. Fires a shot down low. Bossolini got a shot off, and it was blocked away. Ground ball opportunity. It's going to be picked up by Oak Knoll and now taken the other way. And trolling is going to be Nicole Biacco. She fires a pass down for her sister, Allie. Allie Biacco now with it on the outside. She tries to walk in, guarded tightly by Tara Cassidy. She'll play it around the back of the net. And Oak Knoll now trying to slow down the tempo as it's played up top to Nicole Biacco. Chance for an opportunity down low and we're going to get a whistle. The ball will come out. Ali Biacco will control it directly in front of the net. 18.30 as we resume play. High low shot bounces in past Ganell. And boy, that's now four shots for Oak Knoll on the game, and three of them have been able to find the back of the net as they have pushed the lead now back to two goals with 18-29 remaining in this first half. It's the Royals three and the Blue Eagles one. Remember to follow us on our Twitter account, at NJOrgVarsity. You can like us on Facebook as well, NJ.OrgVarsity. If you're watching this on our YouTube channel, which I'm assuming you are, because that's the only place to get it, just subscribe and you can get all of our great action as we continue to go. Faceoff's going to be controlled by Oak Knoll. They'll work it back in their own defensive zone here. Swinging across, Lizzie Armstrong plays it up, but it was an errant pass, and it's going to be taken away by IHA. And here they come now on the attack. Walking in for the Blue Eagles. 
And now dishing behind the net to Christine Weber. Weber looked for something in front. Now she'll just play it around the outside for Haley Bossalina. Now over to Marmo. Marmo looking, was looking for a shot, but decided not to take it. She pulled it back, played it back out for Haley Bossalina, whose sister Reagan also plays on this IHA team, though not on the field right now. Josie Zinn with it. She gives to Gabriella Vinci. Vinci has the ball knocked out. And we're gonna get a whistle here and it's gonna remain IHA ball even though Oak Knoll had scooped up the ground ball. The foul was on. Oak Knoll. Shot, score. And just like that, Gabriella Vinci puts one in the back of the net. And the score now three to two as IHA has gotten this deficit back to one goal as they've been playing much better here through these last three or four minutes than they did through the first three or four minutes of this game. 17-16 left in this first quarter. IHA trails by one as we keep emphasizing to the number four team in the Star Ledger top 20. It'll be Vinci against Morgan Ryan for the faceoff as it has been all day. Ball goes up. Now ground ball and it is, well, still gonna be on the ground and eventually a whistle and the ball is going to go to Oak Knoll. It's gonna be Mary Margaret Kenny with the ball. She gives to Saya. Saya walks in. Now backs off a little bit. Tried to give it over to Biako. Dropped it, then picked it right back up. And we get a whistle again that time as Kathleen O'Connor tried to make her way towards the net. Already seen quite a few whistles. Very physical game being played by both teams. Comes the shot. Looked like it deflected off a defender's stick and taken now by IHA. 16-24 remain here in this first half. As IHA looks for the clear, and they're going to get it. And it's going to be Josie Zinn bringing it into the offensive zone. Here they go on the fast break. IHA, Zinn walking in. And now she'll pull it back out. and Take much slower approach. We're going to get a whistle. Can't quite hear what referee Joel Stein's call was. But either way, it is going to be IHA's ball. Zinn will take it. She walks in, fires a shot high. That goes out of bounds. IHA closest to the end line, so they'll take it. Christine Weber will have it, and a whistle and a stoppage. Leave some issues with the clock. They're gonna let a couple seconds run off. The clock never started after the last stoppage. So 15 and a half to go, and IHA will have the ball. Haley Pausalina controls in the corner. She now gets it up top to Josie Zinn. Over to Sam Marmo. Marmo being guarded by Lexi Smith. Gets a nice pick set for her, but a nice pick up that time by Lizzie Armstrong. And we're gonna get a whistle and Marmo not happy. She was called for the foul that time. And it'll be taken by Lizzie Armstrong the other way for Oak Knoll. Big turnover that time. Armstrong's going to take it all the way. Here comes a back check, though, by Zinn. So Armstrong will play it in deep and then get back on defense. Fires shot in front. Morgan Ryan is denied. Morgan Ryan got a nice lead pass right on the doorstep, but Kenna Scannell was able to get her stick down. Outlet pass goes awry here, front fair on the far sideline. Ball still up for grabs in a ground ball situation, and we're gonna get a whistle, and the ball's gonna be given to IHA. 14-13 remaining here in the first half. Three to two in favor of the Oak Knoll Royals over the IHA Blue Eagles. Joe Vasile here, Jay Treble, our producer and cameraman. Sam Marmo now dishes up top to Josie Zinn. We've said well, both of those names quite a bit today. 
Armo, just because she's been in possession of the ball for so long, and Zinn, well, she seems to be carrying the ball into the offensive zone quite a bit for IHA, also had the first goal for the Blue Eagles. Now it's Haley Bossalina being worked on by Kenny. Annie Quinn now with it, being worked on by Lizzie Armstrong. Over to Vinci. Vinci walks in, looks for a shot opportunity. Nice dodge, gets it in front. Decides not to take the shot and will work it back out. IHA just working on ball control here. They trail by a goal with 12.50 to go in the first half. Vinci fires it in and a whistle. Seen quite a few of those, and it will be taken by Maggie Zeed up top as we resume play. Zeed, shot, bounces in, and we have a tie game. Three goals apiece is now the score, 12-28 remaining here in this first half, and with the start that Oak Knoll got off to with those two fast goals, not even three minutes into this game for IHA to come back and now be outscoring them 3-1 is really quite the feat. A nice turnaround for the Blue Eagles. As they've now had three different players score goals. Josie Zinn, Gabriela Vinci, and now Maggie Zeed. It's usually more of a defensive midfielder. Zeed's eighth goal on the season. Thank you very much for joining us. And Hope you stick around for the rest of this one. It's certainly shaping up to be an exciting game. And the faceoff is going to be controlled by IHA. It's coming out. And will be IHA Paul here after we resume. Sam Marmo takes it. Ducking around. Plays it in deep for Christine Weber. Weber plays it around. In front for Josie Zinn. Back to Marmo. Marmo looking to dish off to a teammate as she's guarded tightly by Morgan Ryan. She eventually gets her to back off and dishes back to Josie Zinn. Zinn over to Catherine DeCourt getting the start today in the absence of Jen Mistretta. Haley Bossalina now with it up top. One thing certainly that the Blue Eagles do is they move very well away from the ball, they get themselves open. And when they shoot, they shoot to score, and that's one of the things that Sue Montegari really wants this team to focus on, is not just taking the shots, but taking good shots and shooting to score, not just shooting for the sake of shooting, and that's something that we've seen so far out of IHA today. When they shot, they've all been good opportunities, as a shot that time by Josie Zinn rides a little bit high goes out of bounds, it'll be IHA ball, but this is still a very young team. They're still feeling each other out. They're playing a little bit better, but obviously the, the goal is, as I'm sure any coach will tell you, is to continue to play and get a little bit better each game than they were before. So that way, when the postseason does come around, you're playing your best lacrosse, and obviously the idea is to go far in that postseason, and Sue Montegari certainly feels as if IHA has the potential to be able to do that this year. And they're showing that here, tied three goals apiece with 10-20 left in the first half to the number four team in the state of New Jersey, as far as girls lacrosse is concerned. Gabriella Vinci, the midfielder controls for IHA, she is a junior. She now dishes to Josie Zinn, also a junior. Look up and down this IHA roster, see all kinds of sophomores and juniors, couple seniors here and there, but this is still a very young team with a lot of room to grow and with the potential that they have showed today, certainly good things in the future. This ball will be taken out the other way by Oak Knoll. Saya 
Carries it in, now dishes over to Nicole Biacco. And as you see there, shot and a goal for Oak Knoll. So they are now back out on top, four to three. And boy, that is the first goal in this game in quite some time as we've seen a, a few shots here and there go awry or be saved. But there was quite a bit of scoring right at the outset of this one. It seems to have cooled down just a little bit as, well, the temperatures are starting to cool down a little bit here in Washington Township as well. There's a slight possibility of some rain, but everyone here, of course, hoping that holds off long enough to get this game in. 9.33 remain in this first half. 4-3, Oak Knoll leads IHA. Joe Vasile, Jay Treble with you here from Washington Township. Ground ball's gonna be scooped up by Zinn and taken for IHA. She'll walk back a little bit and now play it forward. And a bad pass that time by so Sophie Rosenzweig. It's going to be picked up by Oak Knoll, and now they'll take it on the attack the other way. Biaco. With it walking in, she's got two defenders on her, and so she'll just try and run around a little bit, give her teammates some time to set up down in the attacking zone. And now Oak Knoll goes to work. Pass back and a whistle as it was caught by Kiwi Camisio, perhaps one of the better names in New Jersey high school girls lacrosse. And Kiwi will take it here as soon as the whistle blows and we can get play going again. 18, uh, excuse me, 8.35 remaining in this first half. Shot and a nice block that time. Scannell, I believe, was able to come up with the save. Might have deflected off a defender first. But it's picked up by the Royals and they'll play it around now. Ball controlled by Cassie Ford. Ford walks in and a push. So Ford will set up outside the box. Eight minutes to go. Four to three is the score. I'm sure you can see the scoreboard there ticking away in the background. Ford walks in, looking for an opportunity to shoot. She fires and it goes off of Scannell's foot. Nice save that time. Picked up by Oak Knoll again. Couple of nice saves by Scannell. Here in the last minute. And a good defensive job that time by Katie Cromie to break up the pass. It goes out of bounds. It'll stay. I believe Oak Knoll ball. And no, actually, they're going to be giving it back to IHA. I swore that that glance off of Cromie, but apparently it was last touched by Oak Knoll. Referee had a lot better view of it than I did, that's for sure. And take it by IHA the other way, 7.20. Remaining in the first half, we resume play. And taking it up for IHA is Catherine DeCourt. She's got it. Taking it up was Maggie Zeed. She passed it to Catherine DeCourt. Sam Marmo now with it for the Blue Eagles. She gives to Zinn. Josie Zinn, junior, as I mentioned, now 10 goals on the season. If you include hers from earlier today, IHA looking for the equalizer, trying to get this one back to a tie game, 4-3 to three in favor of the Oak Knoll Royals. Walking in, Weber thought about taking a shot, now pulls it back. And she'll play it back out as IHA will look to set up something else. Sam Marmo now with it. She tries to get inside, but nice defense being played that time by Lexi Smith. So Marmo didn't even have an opportunity for a shot that time. Now the ball given to Annie Quinn. And she'll try and set up something for the Blue Eagles. To court guarded by the tall Lizzie Armstrong. Gives to Haley Bossalina. 5.42 remain. Marmo with it now on the inside. And whistle and a hold coming. So Marmo with a good chance to score here. We resume play. Shot 
bounces in. And Samantha Marmo with her 21st goal of the season has equalized it. Score at 4-4 four, four now with 5-23 remaining here in this first half. And if you're interested in sponsoring future broadcasts here on NJ Newsfeed on NJ.org, contact J Triple by the information that is in the description of this video right below. Great sponsorship packages starting at prices as low as $90. What does $90 get you nowadays? Uh, not much, but what it can get you is great sponsorship packages here on NJ.org Varsity Broadcasts. And boy, do we have a packed schedule for the rest of this academic year. Plenty of broadcasts to come here in the month of April through May. And the faceoff is won by IHA. Another whistle, another stoppage, and here we go. Ball played back and will be taken up by Maggie Zeed. She gave to Josie Zinn. And a whistle and a penalty against Oak Knoll. And it will go back to IHA. Zinn plays it up for Marmo. Marmo walks in. Looking for a good chance. Thought about trying to go around to the right. Now picks it back to the left and goes up top. Marmo gets it in deep. Nearly a good chance opportunity that time for Bustle, and she decided to pass it up. She was guarded tightly. Ball is loose, and it's scooped up by Oak Knoll. Exactly what IHA did not want to have to happen. Because we're going to get a whistle and a stoppage of the fast break. 420 remain. Ball played to Kiwi Camisio. Guarded by Tara Cassidy. Camisio with it behind the net. She now slings it across the court. It's not a court, it's a field. Now controlled up top by Biaco. That is Nicole, the older of the Biacos. Nicole being looked at by Harvard. So, quite a good student, as well as a good lacrosse player. Here comes her sister, Allie. Shot, score. And now back on top is Oak Knoll with 335 left here in the first. The score five to four. And so far IHA has been able to tie up the score a couple of times, but they have yet to take a lead in this one. Remind you once again, you can follow us on Twitter at NJOrgVarsity. You can follow me on Twitter at Joe Vasile PBP. You can like us on Facebook. NJ.org Varsity is the name of the page there. And of course, subscribe to our YouTube channel, NJ Newsfeed. At the face off, right here on the whistle. Ball is up, and it will be. The ground ball is going to be scooped up by IHA along the sideline. Played around back for Tara Cassidy. Cassidy with a nice pass. A little bit dangerous that time. But effective nonetheless. Weber with it, has it knocked out of her stick. And unfortunately the rules were bent a little bit that time by the Oak Knoll player. Kiwi Camisio. And so it'll be IHA ball as soon as it's retrieved and placed back in its proper spot. Christine Weber, a sophomore. 11 points on the season for the Blue Eagles. We'll dish it off to Samantha Marmo, already with one goal on the day. All four goals scored by different people for IHA. Been taking good shots. They haven't taken really all that many shots, but when they've been taking them, they've made them count. Catherine DeCourt controls behind the net. She brings it around front. Try and get in. Throws the shot down low. And it's blocked away by Jackie McCall. But a whistle and a push coming that time against Oak Knoll. And so, here comes the shot opportunity for DeCourt. DeCourt on the season with one goal coming into today's game. 
comes the whistle. She gets it off and it's blocked away that time by McCall. Nice job by her to block that one away. Ground ball is picked up by the Royals and taken the other way. That was Kathleen O'Connor controlling for them. They take it across midfield. Lizzie Armstrong with it. Plays it back for Cassie Ford. Ford to Ryan who swings it over to Ali Biaco. Now back to Ford. Ford gives back to Ryan. Ryan stepping in. Dishes back to Ford, had an open lane. And a whistle. Minute 20 remaining here in the first half. Five to four in favor of the Oak Knoll Royals. Or the IHA Blue Eagles. Each team coming into this game at four and three. On this young season. And we'll have yet another whistle. This time, ball's gonna be taken by IHA. To court with it, she got hacked right on the hand. So we'll have another stoppage and we'll go in just about five seconds. Plenty of illegal checking so far in this game. Sam Marmo with it. That time looked like she took the pocket of the stick right to her head. So another stoppage and Marmo will take it as soon as the whistle blows. Minute five remain here in this first half. IHA looking to tie up the score here before we head to halftime. Ducking in, Marmo. She'll now back it out a little bit. She's ridden back by two Oak Knoll defenders. Look at her, desperately pass it off to someone. She eventually gets it off to Borsalina. Borsalina works it in. Shot, denied that time was Hanny Quinn. But the rebound goes back to IHA, 38 seconds to go here in this first half. Walking in with it. Marmo, she dishes back to Weber. Weber to Borsalina. Now it's Vinci. She's got a goal on the game today. Dishes back to Zinn. Zinn also with a goal today. So we've mentioned already all four IHA goals scored by four different players. Josie Zinn gives to Vinci. Vinci walks in. And a whistle with six seconds remaining. And a chance here for Vinci to get her second of the game and tie this one up before the half. Here it comes. Shot. Score. And we are tied at five with four seconds remaining in the first half. And I tell you, if you are Sue Montegari and you could have told her that going into the half here, you would be tied with the number four team in New Jersey, I think she would have taken that one in about a second. Now you can get the camera back off me, Jay. Thank you very much for my five seconds of FaceTime. And now we've got four seconds left before we head to the half. Game tied at five. Ball is up. Three, two, one as the shot goes in. In a last second desperation attempt. And that will do it for this first half of lacrosse here at IHA. We'll break for a few minutes. We'll be back with the second half of this very special game. 5-5 five, five is the score. You're watching IHA Lacrosse on NJ.org Varsity, NJ News Feed on YouTube. Remember, if you're interested in sponsoring, contact Jay Treble by the contact information that is in the description below this video. <laughs> 